Hello guys, welcome back to Salesforce Anytime channel. Did you ever had a change set in your Salesforce org and you wanted to actually download that change set as a package.xml or maybe you wanted to retrieve that change set as a package.zip and you wanted to deploy it to some other org where the change sets are not set up so if yes then this video is for you so i'm going to show you how you can actually download a change set or even a package uh, which is an unmanaged package in your salesforce org uh, change set also is kind of an unmanaged package uh, inside your org except that uh, you can set up um, those to be um, actually moved between the your salesforce orgs like for example dev QA, UAT and prod um, but whereas uh, if sometimes if you don't have the change sets already set up like inbound change sets and outbound change sets already set up inside uh, your org pipelines then uh, how do you uh, deploy the uh, some of those change sets right so if, if you have that kind of requirement then I'm going to show you how you can quickly download a change set uh, package.xml and also how you can download the uh, retrieve the package.zip for that particular change set so since i i have like a developer org here i'm just showing you um like a package <coughs> uh, which is like a uh, unmanaged package so which is essentially same as building a change set in your org uh, because this is a developer edition org uh, i'm not able to build a change set uh, to showcase here but uh, you can similarly use this same feature for retrieving a chain set so let's assume that i have already built a, a package uh, unmanaged package which is this print one stories um, you can think or think this as a chain set uh, also so if, even if you have a chain set with this name you can uh, you can easily download that package dot xml or package.zip uh, inside your computer so let me uh, first show you this is the package i already have built uh, to showcase so here you can see there are two apex classes i have already added uh, inside this uh, unmanaged package so uh, let me show you how you can download this uh, package uh, inside uh, inside uh, uh, um, package.xml or even download this uh, list of elements inside a csv file and open it in excel for for your reference so let me just copy the exact name of the package here which is um, sprint one um, stories and let me log into packmagics.com here so i'm using my developer edition org here which uh, i already created the package inside so once I log in, it's going to ask me to allow the permissions. So once I allow, uh, it's going to open that uh, home page. So once I have the home page, uh, I want to download a change set. So I'm just going to type it here, like change set, uh, the export change set option here. And here is what I'm going to provide my unmanaged package name or my chain set name so you can provide your chain set name also here essentially they are both the same things uh, so once i provide it here i'm going to click on get chain set or package button so it's going to uh, <coughs> go inside the org and take the details of the the chain set or the package you have provided and then it's going to bring it for you so uh, anytime you build a change set um it's going to have multiple uh, different salesforce metadata components of different types so whatever types you have selected it's going to show it here inside a table so uh, so since i have selected two apex classes it's showing me here here the apex class and then the name of the apex class is what i have selected inside my package so whatever components you have you can actually um, download them as a csv also here which i'm going to open it in my LibreOffice so you can see it uh, so same way you can open it in excel inside your computer since i'm using linux i'm opening it into uh, open office so you could see the component names inside this change set or package uh, inside this uh, excel spreadsheet 
so that will be very useful if you want to document something related to your components and you can also download this as a package.xml which again I'm going to open it uh, here to showcase you so this has built uh, actually downloaded the package.xml uh, for this particular chain set or package for you so you can use it uh, to retrieve the components inside your VS code or whatever uh, tool you have to retrieve the package right and uh, I can also show you how it can you can download the uh, zip uh, which is a uh, retrieve the package uh, version of uh, this particular change or package so it's going to take a minute to download the package.zip file once it's downloaded, uh, then you can see it on your screen that it has been downloaded. Yep, so it has been downloaded and I can open this file and just show you what contents it has. So it has the classes which I already had um, selected inside my uh, change set or package. So you could see there are two um, classes I have and then two meta files for the same classes. So this is how you can download um, the the package.xml package.zip and also download it as csv so that you can use it for documentation purposes and you could also download it as destructive changes .xml just in case you wanted to um, delete some of the i mean if, you, if your change set is like uh, built for deletion of components then you can download it as destructive uh, xml destructive changes .xml file um, so this is what I wanted to show you in this video uh, how you can quickly um, export uh, download the package.zip and you could also use this package.zip to deploy to some other orgs where the chain sets are not set up so that way um, it is going to be easier for you to build chain set and download it and then deploy it to other orgs um, wherever the chain sets are not set up thank you much for watching this video I hope you liked it um, please let me know in comments area if you have any other feedbacks for this video. Thank you very much. Bye